Welcome to the beautiful land of Kenya, Africa. The tribe of Kenyans known as the Kisi live in the western part of their country, nestled in the hills, plateaus, and valleys known as the highlands. Banana trees are in abundance in this agriculturally rich area. We sampled coffee berries, the sweet morsels surrounding the beans, which are later ground for coffee. Tea is a major cash crop for the Kisi people, and the beverage is offered for every meal. Clusters of homes form neighborhoods tucked into the beautiful landscape. And the vivid colors of numerous flowers dot the greenery along the roads and the walkways. Donkeys are often used to transport items to market. And goats are as commonplace on the market streets as they are in the countryside. Goods are exchanged in the open air markets on the streets of Sangera, the village in Kisiland where our Outfitters for Adventure team stayed. Women finish up their day of selling maize, a staple in the Kisi diet. The Kisi people love their children. Unfortunately, due to AIDS and other diseases, there are many orphans. There are also many destitute widows who are unable to adequately provide for their children. This need was the motivation for Outfitters for Adventure to begin a program to help. So the first year that we were in Kenya, we visited an orphanage and there were 300 kids there and I saw that they had nothing but a med roll and a, and a little box and later on in that year why the we were at a church and a lady came up beside me just real quietly and she said do you see that little girl over there and I said yes and she was dressed kind of ragged clothes and uh, she said she she has no parents no one and so she just goes from place to place getting what she can. She said, can't you do something? So that began uh, a quest and we uh, came up with the idea that we would uh, actually place the orphans in homes rather than place them in an orphanage because even though that orphanage was a nice orphanage, uh, as far as orphanages go, it still was rather impersonal. So we came up with the idea of placing them, the orphans in homes and then supporting the, supporting, uh, uh, the people who would take care of them. And the two pastors over there are the ones that overlook the, oversee the operation and uh, they do their own uh, in-house audit of that. And so that's how we got started placing orphans in homes in, in uh, Kisi, Kenya. Reach Out to the Children of Kenya was established in 2004 to enable Christian families in Kisi to open their homes to orphan children. American sponsors commit to financial support for these children and the Kenyan caretakers commit to the physical care. My name is Jan Neeland. I'm the account administrator. When I heard Neil explain his ideas for placing orphans in homes in Kisi, that was something that appealed to me. And I thought, that's something that I can help with he from here in the United States. It never occurred to me at that time that I would actually have the opportunity to go and meet the people that I was working with in Kenya. Kenneth Magara and James Anwanga are the pastors who administrate funds in Kenya. These two men secure caretakers for orphans, Christian families that are willing to open their homes to the children. They also determine who the children are that need to be helped. The children have a family to live with, and the family receives financial assistance to be used for the child. Uh, 